Hey folks and welcome to this video. What I'm going to show you is how you can use a PowerShell command or a bash command to check if an Azure storage account name already exists or not before you create it. The reason we want to do this is because that there are some rules around creating an Azure storage account name. So the Azure storage account name must be between three and 24 characters in length and may contain numbers and lowercase letters only. And your Azure storage account name must be unique within Azure. There are no two storage accounts that can have the same name. So it can often be tricky trying to figure out what your Azure storage account name can be. So we're going to use these commands to double check if our account exists or not, or the name convention that we want to use is available. Now this is the PowerShell command. So it's get dash AZ storage account name availability space dash name, and then you put in the account name. So it's quite a long command to start with, but it will then output what you need to know whether that storage account can be used or not. The AZ CLI command or the bash command is a long one as well. So it is AZ space storage space account space check dash name space dash dash name and then the account name that you want to try. So again, another long one there, but again, it will output what um, whether that account name is available or not. So what we want to do is actually look at this in action, look at these commands in action and see what happens when we actually try to use them. So let's type in the azcli command first of all. So we can see here that that storage account, techielast storage, is actually available for us. Now the azcli command has outputted that into a kind of JSON format. What we could actually do for this command if we wanted a slightly easier potentially way to read this is use the command and then type dash dash output space table and we can see that that gives us a potentially easier way to read it so it gives us the table name that um, that storage account techie last storage is available for us now if we use the powershell command let's see what it returns for us So again, it's showing us that the name of Tequila Storage is an available account name. If we were to pick something that wasn't available, this is the output that you would get. So you can he see here, it's saying that a storage account already exists and is already taken, so we can use it. So hopefully this has been helpful in showing you two commands that you can use to check whether an Azure storage account name is available or not. Please do hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Catch you in another video, folks.